Yes lads, how's it going? Shane here and welcome back to another player review on my channel on the team of the season, Patrick Bamford. Now this card to me for a free card looks incredible. I mean his stats, his pace is good. Probably against, against centre backs anyway, but against full backs at centre back he might struggle a bit so I, I suggest probably putting a hunter on him. But, I mean, his shooting is fine. It doesn't need touching, really. Uh, I mean, like, 99 attack position is going to be in that position all the time, probably. And finishing 90, 92, that's really good. Obviously, with a Hawk, it's 97. So, he's going to, on his left foot, going to pretty much bang him in all the time. He's passing, 90 short passing, 87 curve for striker. That's fa that's going to be fine for one twos with Bale when playing up front with him. Is dribbling, his agility for someone who's six foot one is going to be really good unless his stature in game is just a clunky mess. Balance eighty, I mean, it it could be like nineties if his if his body frames just. A mess in game is going to be clunky anyway. Reactions 87, ball control 93, dribbling 85, composure 88. I reckon that's going to be fine unless you're just one of those cards that are unusable. 99 heading, but I mean, headers aren't really. It's going to be. Phone corners are going to be alright, but I think in play, crosses are pretty dead. 8 for his physical, 89 eight, straight plus to 94. He's going to just barge people off the ball. Not nice time, so he's going to be able to go all game. I think the only thing that might affect him is his, where his positioning is high, high. So he might want to drop back. So I might have to tell him to stay forward. But yeah, he, he does look incredible for a free card. I'm recording this on the release day of La Liga team this season. So yeah, but this is the team I'm using. I packed Gunder one for my guaranteed team of the season and Rodri is a CDM in my 4 3 one, 2 is incredible. I really like Rodri. But yes guys, without further ado, let's get into the games to test out Bam. Give me reasons to doubt, try to keep me down But I'll put the flame out, you can't get to me Throw your sticks and your stones, go break all of my bones You won't ache my soul, you can't get to me And there is no barricade that I Push me down to the ground What goes around comes oh, around Bamford. You won't put oh. the flame out You can't get to me Say what you wanna say Go take it all away But I'm here to stay No, you can't get to me And there is no barricade That I
guys. End of a weird ending to the game. Bad for the two players. No assist. I am starting to like this Bad for guy after the first half. Guys, that is it for today's gameplay. Uh, Bamford got eight goals, one assist in five games. One of the games, I did just get DC of oh, the, the guy DC should I say, and we're disconnected from each other. I mean, his shooting was incredible. I can't deny that, but his his agility sometimes was a bit dodgy, and his runs. He, he held off for some reason. I have no idea why. He's got 99 attack position. He should be the first to make that run. But Bale made it before him. And... Yeah, it's, it's down to his high hour work rates. I think that's a con for me. And his, and his skills and weak foot. I couldn't really do it any... Obviously, I can't do any skills with him. And I barely scored on his right foot. So, the card, apart his shooting, was a little bit of a letdown, but I did I did enjoy using him. But yes, guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed. Drop a like, and I'll see you on the next one, which will be around Isaac when I get the chance to unlock him, because I've got a lot, I've got a lot, lot of stuff on. But yeah, until next time, guys. Peace.